tonight, Orleans Parish District Attorney Jason Williams responds to Fox 8's question about a teen gunman who escaped from an unsecured juvenile facility in Bunky and remains at large. Meanwhile, the New Orleans man shot and left paralyzed by the escapee wonders how an Orleans Parish juvenile court judge decided the escapee posed little risk. I died like twice on the table. Daryl Scott is reliving the night he was robbed and shot by then 13 year old Lionel Reynolds while walking on Morrison Road in New Orleans East back in 2019. On Friday, Scott and his family received an unexpected phone call from the Orleans Parish DA's office informing them that Reynolds, now 17 years old, had escaped from a group home for low risk juvenile offenders nine days earlier on September 13th. It's been a weekend of looking over their shoulders in fear. Who's to say he didn't escape to come looking for me? He could have just escaped just to get out, but there's, we don't know for sure, only he knows. I'm back at panicking and I'm, I'm scared for Daryl. I'm, I'm afraid for myself. Since neither the state's Office of Juvenile Justice, which houses youth offenders, nor any local court or authorities had publicly announced Reynolds' escape, Scott's grandmother, Dorothy White, said she felt compelled to come forward Personal about the teen state. fugitive. In response to Fox 8's questioning, District Attorney Jason Williams says his office only learned of the escape last Friday and immediately notified Dorothy White. Williams also says his prosecutors objected when juvenile court judge Candace Anderson recently modified Reynolds' sentence for attempted second-degree murder to facilitate his transfer from secure custody to the group home from which he escaped. Everybody's kind of undercutting right now. It should have been publicly put out there when Lionel escaped from the facility he was in, the step down. Reynolds initially was sentenced to juvenile life, meaning he was to be detained in a secure facility until turning 21. Judge Anderson altered his sentence. Now Williams said anyone aiding and abetting Reynolds since his escape will also face criminal charges. I could have ran into him anywhere. Scott says he heard from friends that Reynolds had posted photos of himself on social media after his escape. I went and I looked him up and show enough from the screenshot, he's, he posted. When I see this post, whew, it's so disturbing to know that this is a young man that doesn't have a care in the world for no one else's life as well as his life. He escaped September 13th. The post is from September 15th. So that's two days after you escaped. The social media profile used by Reynolds has since been deleted. No one wants to see this, D.A. Williams wrote in a statement. This unfortunate incident should not be held out as an example of what will occur every time someone is released. Adding, we objected to furloughs and early release from secure care due to the violent nature of the offense and threat of harm felt by this victim's family. The system is failing the community. They are failing the victims because you know you should have put his picture up. You know you should have put his name out there. Scott says he is trying to stay focused on his own goals since the shooting four years ago, such as relearning to walk. So like with my nephew, he's three now, so we, I'm trying to get back to walking before he turns 10. So even, even if it is with like walking strands or with a walk, at least I'll be more independent than just being bound to my wheelchair. Lionel will get his life back if he wants to change and get his life back. He can, but with Judge Anderson giving so many chances to Lionel, nobody's giving chances and help to Daryl. We reached out again to the Office of Juvenile Justice tonight asking about Reynolds' last known whereabouts, whether he's considered a threat to the public, and how he escaped in the first place. We have not heard.